Hi guys, my name is Dr. Matt and I'm one of the tutors here at WH Medical Courses. Today we're going to be looking at an ethical scenario which appears quite frequently in medical exams ranging all the way from med school finals through to postgraduate exams. So please go ahead and have a look at the following scenario. Okay, so as I've already mentioned, these sorts of scenarios appear fairly frequently in medical exams ranging from med school finals to GP entrance exams, AKT, PLAB, but most importantly, it's really an important topic to get right in your day-to-day -day practice. So let's start with the GMC guidance on chaperones. I posted a link to it in the video description below, so please be sure to check it out in its entirety at the end of this video. In summary, the GMC states that any patient who is being offered an intimate examination should also be offered a chaperone for this examination, regardless of their gender. This means if a patient is the same gender as you, you are still expected to offer them a chaperone. The key here is the word intimate. Now, typically this means breast examination for women or genital or rectal examination for patients of any gender. However, in certain situations, the word intimate can have different meanings. For example, if, you're, if you are a male GP about to examine a patient who wears a hijab and you need to perform a chest examination, then this may be, um, the patient may feel that this does qualify as an intimate examination. And as such, you would be expected to offer them a chaperone. If the patient doesn't want a chaperone, that is perfectly acceptable, but be absolutely sure to document this on the patient's records and then proceed to examine the patient if you feel comfortable doing so. If for some reason you are uncomfortable or you feel uncomfortable in performing an examination without the presence of a chaperone, the best course of action is to ask a fellow, a fellow GP to see this patient instead. Now the chaperone is usually a health professional and this means a patient's relative is an inappropriate choice for chaperone. The patient may prefer to have their family member present for the examination, which is perfectly reasonable, but a chaperone should still be offered. Be sure to document the name and role of the chaperone in your organisation when you come to writing up your notes. So moving on to the ethical component of this scenario, the, the, the first thing you'd be expected to do in this situation is to talk to the patient about what happened at the previous consultation. You may find that a chaperone was offered but the patient had declined, however the previous GP didn't document this in the records. If you find that the GP hadn't offered a chaperone, then it would be appropriate for you to discuss this with the GP in question, as they will have further insight into that particular consultation. Now, at this point, escalation to practice manager or senior partner may not be necessary. However, that may become an, uh, an option if this becomes a recurrent problem, um, and you may then need to discuss this and escalate further. So there you have it. That's it for the video today. Uh, please be sure to visit our website whmedical.co.uk to have a look at the range of courses we offer and get in touch if you'd be interested in joining any of our courses or indeed if there's anything, any type of video in particular you feel you'd benefit from. Thank you.